Hello everyone, this is Guy of Doom with TGN, and I'm bringing you my first video submission for TGN Idol. And I'm going with something a little different, so this is Luguru HD, uh, which is an independent 3D fighting game made by Wolffire Games. And I decided to go with this game because it's something I enjoy. I haven't played it for a little while, so I kind of wanted to get back into it. And I figured it'd be completely different than anything that I've seen so far on TGN Idol. Uh, and since I've played this game once through already, I went ahead and I just kind of zoomed through the story because my thoughts were, if you really want the story, you got to go and play the game yourself. But uh, if any of you have any preferences on, on how I'm doing that or how fast I'm going through the dialogue, then just go ahead and please leave the comments below. Uh, but this is the style I chose to go with. So this, of course, is the introductory level, in which case they're just getting you used to the controls and jumping around um, and setting up the general storyline. So the storyline for this game is pretty basic. Uh, you've got these uh, anthropomorphic rabbits, of which your name is Turner, and you're the ninja of your particular village. Uh, and then what you'll see here shortly is that the bandits invade and destroy your village, and you start on this quest for vengeance. Uh, and so what's fun about this is it's actually got a pretty intricate fighting system. So there's not really fall physics, as you can see there, but uh, there's a pretty good fighting system, in which case you can get uh, kicks, punches, tackles... Uh, a lot of flies and throw, uh, flying around, throwing, and uh, you can even get weapons. And then, uh, of course, there's going to be reversals and counter reversals, as I'll show you eventually. So I kind of started off there with a little bit of fun and the standard kind of FPS uh, teabagging just to kind of get things started because I was having a, a bad day when I filmed this, so I kind of felt like beelining through the whole thing and going all John Rambo. So. Uh, as you can see, I already know where the next point of view or point to go here is, and so I'm again zooming right through this because I want to get to killing as many of these raiders as I can. So, uh, this, so this is an independent game, and it is also DRM free. And actually, you can currently get it for about ten dollars on the main site, and I'll go ahead and put that link down there below uh, for those of you that are interested. And uh, I first found out about uh, this game for the it was part of the first humble indie bundle. Uh, a while back and I got it as part of that collection and it's one of those things that although I bought it at the same time uh, with the rest of the games I kind of took me a while to get through it um, just because uh, my uh, schedule is, isn't the most open uh, but uh, I get to games when I can and, and right now <laughs> you can see that I'm kind of getting stomped on in this particular fight here and you can actually see that they do blood and damage uh, and the models actually change a little bit uh, and that's actually one of the cool things I think about this game, because although the engine is a little bit dated, it was kind of developed by the uh, actual programmer, so it, it's it's nice to see at least that attention to detail when they're designing the game. And uh, th what, what I will admit to at this point is though I started off at a difficult moment thinking I'd be all MLG when I went through this game again because I'd already played it. I actually had to tone the difficulty back down to easy, uh, because on the medium difficulty, which is called difficult, uh, they were actually kind of horrendously stomping me in the fights, and I couldn't get a single blow in. Uh, so, it, I had to tone it back down just so it, this video wasn't a complete montage of me getting my butt kicked. So, uh, in this particular scene here, I'm sneaking up behind the uh, one of the bandits in this area to kind of show you a little bit of the stealth gameplay, and then you actually get the, the the one hot hit kill if you sneak up on an enemy, so I was definitely trying to test that out. Uh, but like I said, this is an independent game. I'm a big fan of independent games, uh, mainly because they tend to be less DRM. They tend to be a little bit more interesting and uh, and test things out and push the envelope a little bit further than I've seen in a lot of games AAA recently. And also, and also because I tend to be cheap, and independent games in general tend to be. Uh, a little less expensive than what you'll see in AAA games. So, of course, AAA games come with that $60 price tag, and the most independent games you won't see anything above a $30 price tag. And uh, and I'm I'm all about uh, price point efficiency when it comes to enjoying my games. And I get a little cheap too because uh, I'm a, currently a graduate student, so it's all about uh, monitoring your budget and your time efficiently. So, uh, again, you can see here I snuck up on these guys and I got a knife from the previous fight and I stabbed that one guy. And now I'm going back to collect my knife so I can have it for the next combat. 
And while it seems like I'm kind of stomping the floor with everybody here, what you'll see here in a few minutes... Let's see, there I go. F taunting the enemy, fallen enemies. And you can actually jump on them. It's not nice physics with the ragdoll there. But uh, it'll soon get a little bit tougher as I... Like I said earlier, I tend to have a fairly uh, basic play style where I, I don't always have as much patience for stealth and especially this particular evening I wasn't doing the greatest and so you can see I was trying to sneak up on this guy and, and then uh, I have a total fail and <laughs> end up having to fight the whole group um, and the enemies of course can take your weapons as well I don't get any farther than a knife in this particular video uh, but uh, you can eventually get swords and quarter staffs and they all have a little bit different advantages and see there I actually countered one of his attacks which takes a little bit of timing and I'm actually kind of surprised that the computer normally on higher difficulties they do the counter reversals so it, it really becomes kind of a gamble to hit the computer because uh, unfortunately the, the one thing with the AI I think it's just a uh, with the difficulty curve I think they set it up so that it just changes the um, frequency in which they do the blocks and the counters uh, or it just dodge your attacks so again I'm taking out some of my hostility from that particular day and, and so uh, this is one of the few games that I wanted to show that's part of my rather large independent collection and I've got a few other games that I want to show you guys um, that uh, I think I'm probably going to keep uh, submitting them from TGN Idol uh, just because I think, like I said, they're going to be different than what I've seen out there so far uh, and actually the game I play the most often is Minecraft and, uh, and there's plenty of, plenty of Minecraft love out there and, and I don't want to overexpose any of you guys to Minecraft because I love Minecraft as much as the next person uh, but they're, they're, I don't want to tilt the scale any further in the Minecraft direction than what I've seen so far so with that said, uh, I've got a lot of uh, Minecraft videos on my current channel because I've, relative, I've just recently started uh, making these Let's Play videos. And so this is actually my first time where I haven't done live commentary. And I actually found out on my first two run-throughs of trying to film this for you guys that when I tried to do live commentary, I find myself concentrating so much on the battles that there was a lot of silence and me not talking uh, because I was so focused on trying to... Uh, beat these little raider rabbits down so as you can see I totally am still learning all the remembering all the buttons and the attacks as I totally fail and kill that rock there uh, and then you can see he's gonna run off and warn his little raider buddies so I'm totally gonna get ambushed up on this rock face here uh, I managed to get one knife on him and then I start getting my face kicked in really quickly <laughs> and you can see I'm trying to run back and get them to branch off but they're not having any of it and uh, pretty soon I just get beaten into the ground and yeah face in the sand and you can see it gets a little bit blurry and that's kind of your damage indicator and then you're dead <laughs> so I died here the first time and I was not very happy about it and so it takes a little bit of time before it reloads back up and of course I had to avenge myself and charge back forward into the fray right off the way so whereas I took a little bit of time on the previous attempt just kinda of taking one by one this time I was kinda of trying to jump through point A to point B as quickly as I could and so now I'm going straight for my knife and there's no more of the stealth and I tried to put the uh, knife away in my belt but for some reason it wasn't letting me equip the knife and so I just go charging forth Apparently that guy saw me, I totally missed the knife throw, and combat begins. So I get one more guy down, think I'm doing okay. Yeah, see there, I'm trying to throw my knife, finally get that off, but I think it actually had a little bit of a glitch, flew off into the distance there, and then uh, I start charging to the next guys. So. I'm not quite used to doing this non-live commentary because uh, I think it gives me a little bit too much of an opportunity to just do play-by-plays and focus on the videos. Um, I do like to talk about various different topics, but I think uh, on my next video I'll play a little bit a uh, different game that's not quite as action-packed, so it'll give me a little bit of a chance to uh, slow down, concentrate, and give you guys another kind of feel of how I play. So of course uh, it'd be, uh, I'd like it if you guys could check out my channel if you're interested. Uh, right now, like I said, I've got about uh, five or six uh, Minecraft Let's Play videos on there and you can see over time I'm just improving with my video editing and how to 
get everything in the sound balanced. And here I am taking on some more raiders, and I think these are the ones that kill me this time. Because I die one last time before I finally stop this particular video. Yeah, see, and I'm jumping in there failing again. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you got any more questions about this particular game. Uh, the developer of this game's actually been working on a sequel called Overgrowth, uh, which not only updates the engine and the graphics, uh, but continues the story from where this one leaves off. Um, and again, I won't give you guys any spoilers in the story, uh, but I can continue making videos of this particular game if you like. Um, so rate this video, even if you hate it, uh, leave your comments below, and let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time, right after I rage quit here.